Hi everyone! In this video, I'd like to show you a super useful information page that should be included in all the Power BI reports that you build and publish into Power BI service. This is a page that will provide clarity to the users and answer frequently asked questions such as when is this report last updated? When will it be next updated? Who should I contact if I have any questions? And what are the meaning of some words that I can see in this report? And where does the data come from? Hmm. Something that looks like this. This is an example of information page that I like to include at the beginning of each Power BI report that I publish into Power BI Service. Why? Because this one page Information includes all the useful information that frequently get asked, such as when was this report last refreshed? When will this report be refreshed next? What's scheduled? How often does it get refreshed? Once a month, once a week, etc. So in here, for example, it's clearly said once a month. And people also often ask about what's new in this version. When was it last updated? When was new charts get added or new table get added? I like to document that in the update log section so that there is a neat audit trail of the previous amendment. It is also useful to have a report owner name and email included in the information page so that if there is any questions about the report, when people want to ask, oh, why is this number this? Why is it greater than that? People know who to email. I also like to include glossaries. Glossaries is a page that includes explanation of acronyms that may be used throughout the report. For example, TY stands for this year, LY stands for last year, and this may get used by the other pages in the report. For example, as you can see in this table, that is TY versus LY. People may not understand the meaning of TY and LY, and therefore, it is good to train your user to go into information page, the glossary section. Another frequently asked question is, source. Where does the data come from? Where do you obtain the information? Is it from the data warehouse? Is it from an Excel file? Who gave it to you, etc, etc. It is good to document where we get the information reported in this report in the source data section. For example, I have written in here that the data is compiled from monthly Excel file stored in the following shared drive and the monthly files is provided by the GL Finance team, Mr. ABC. So as you can see, I am trying to preempt frequently asked questions, put them all in the information page, and this will have the benefit of minimizing the emails and the questions that people send to you, minimizing confusions among the user, and maximizing clarity. So I hope you find this video useful and see you next time.